This is the fourth part of, uh, of chapter two video uh, of, of chapter two. Fourth part of chapter two. I'm going to move to the second data type. Remember the floating point data types. The floating, floating point data types has anything with this range. Here's an example of the floating point. You get, you get to engineering numbers with it. Anything has a, there's a float. There's, you know, there's different type of size you can use with it. There's a float and there's a double with it. A float has, a, has four bytes. A double has eight byte. A lot of times when we actually use money transaction that we calculate, we use double as the data type. Just remember that for me, all right? Floating a lot of times are not as accurate as double because the bigger bytes, the better accuracy that you have. The precisions I want to talk to you about is the maximum number of significant digits is the float value with this thing. There's what's called a single positions which has six, and the double position that has uh, seven, I'm sorry, single position seven, and the double position is about is, is 14. So for now, just don't worry about, you know, you know with, with too deep with this, but it's about the maximum number of significant digits with this, all right? Um, to declare a variable, this is important, how you write your code in your code to, to declare this thing. So you need to be able to call it data type, space the identifier. In this case, data type is an integer, space, identifier is counter. Again, identifiers are variables in this. Double space interest rate. This is a, all in, in, in a semicolon. Okay, That's the syntax. Data type char, A, B, C, D, E. Grade is the identifier, semicolon. Let me go on to orders of operation. This has to do with a lot with the operator. Uh, there's different arithmetic operators. Yeah, you have all these operators with it as well. The one that I, that comes, I want to point out is this modulo uh, with it, which is finds the remainder. The remainder. The reason why we have the mod for programming is because your CPU cannot calculate the remainder. You realize that? And if you recall, in chapter one, it talks to you about the CPU that's made of the ALU and the ALU concatenates everything with it so we have to write it's a built-in predefined function of this, this percent to calculate the, the remainder why is that important again you're gonna see this out to figure out if the numbers odd or even that type of stuff with it and programming with it so to find out how do you know if a, pro, if a number is odd you divide by two and if there's a remainder it's an odd number if you divide by two if it comes out remainder is zero then the mod is zero, then the number's even. So that's one way to figure out, for example, if a number is odd or even. That's just an example. I threw it out there with you as well. Um, there's order of precedence. I want you to remember this. A lot of you, if you went to grade school, you do would remember. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Please is for what? Parentheses comes first. Excuse is for exponential, E. My is for multiplication, dear is for division, ants for is addition, Sally is for subtraction. It's the order from left to right. If there, if you know, you do it from parentheses, you do it from the nest inside the parentheses on out. Parentheses have the higher order precedence, all the way down to Sally, which is subtraction. So I want you to keep in mind that's the order, the rule that we will use. If there is, if you don't have any parentheses or exponential, what's the rule? Associated rule. You do it from left to right. Left to right. Okay? So that's basically what, what this this is this the slide expression tells you to do. So floating point numbers again, there's all sorts of uh, different type of mixed numbers expression casting with it as well. Let me stop right here for, for the recording.